So a couple of weeks ago, I did my can crystal video on Melinda's four-dimensional 2x2x2x2. I wasn't able to solve the puzzle in the video. Uh, we ended up with a parity because we were off by one turn and that's technically not possible on this puzzle. A lot of you guys commented and told me what you thought I should do, what I did wrong, all these different things and I really appreciated every single comment and kind of uh, thought about this puzzle. This was probably one of my favorite videos to make. I had a lot of fun trying to solve it and kind of getting excited about it. I've never really felt that way about solving a puzzle before so yeah I got really into it. The problem was I had a pop very early on in the video and I didn't replace the pieces properly and that actually made it impossible from the very beginning to solve the puzzle. So in this video I'm going to show you uh, exactly what happened, why it made the puzzle impossible and how I got around it and essentially how I did solve the puzzle had I put the pop back in properly because I did everything right um, I still managed to solve it it's just the pop gave me the parity and that stopped me from solving it so here we have our solved 2x2x2x2 two by two by two by two. Uh, let's get started alright so here is the solved puzzle and for this video I'm going to explain kind of what happened when we had our pop so I have screenshots of what happened before the pop this is what the puzzle looked like and then after the pop and if you look really closely you can see that I didn't put it back in properly what it looks like I did was once the pieces popped out I put them back in like this so I somehow flipped it around 180 degrees and of course if you have been following this puzzle you know that that's not a canonical move that's not something you can do and this is what made the puzzle impossible to solve so uh, let me show you why. If I do a gyro move, and this gets our corners solved. Uh, so the gyro move, in case you forgot, it reorients it. So it takes these center pieces and puts them on the outside. And I did uh, green and blue just because they would be solved. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the flip, if we take the pieces apart, has given me um, a T-perm. So we have the top face solved, bottom face solved, and on the left side, we have uh, these two corners solved and these two needing to be flipped. So this is the equivalent of a T-perm on the two by two. So let's do a T-perm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. And that solves the puzzle. The problem with the T perm is that when we count up the number of clockwise moves we do, it becomes 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1. So, what does that mean? It means we need to do a minus one on the other QB. So, when we put them back together, as you can see, this happens. And this is exactly what we had at the end of the original Can Chris Solve video. Uh, and this is not possible. Uh, I've spoken to Melinda about it quite a lot, and uh, she commented on that video uh, this is not a canonical state. There's no way this is possible on the 2x2x2x2. Two by two by two by two. So going from there, this is almost exactly the same state that we had in the last video. So if we kind of go from here, I'm going to do a simple rotation like this. And then I'm going to undo the pop. So I'm going to take out this piece, flip it around, and put it back. So that's kind of undone the pop. So that seems pretty straightforward, right? So then I'm going to do a gyro move with uh, yellow here and white here. And that's going to give us our corners. Just like this. So now as you can see, 
It's given us one two by two with a uh, U clockwise move. And then it's also given us another T perm here. So, this should be fairly self explanatory. We're going to do the T perm. which is going to solve this cube and then when we count up it becomes a minus one minus one there you go and then we can stick this puzzle back together and it is solved there we go oh okay that was exhausting like it took me a really long time to kind of come up with um, a good way of expressing what I just did and how it happened um, so there you go. We managed to solve the two by two by two by two and um, not originally but we managed to figure out what it was that gave us the pop and how we got around it. So undoing the pop would have made it possible to solve um, and would have sorted out that parity that we had at the end of the video. So there you go. That's it. <laughs> what a ride this has been. I mean I I've enjoyed this puzzle so much and I'm just really glad that you guys have interacted with it as well. All the information you need about this puzzle uh, is on Liminal Cube. There's a link in the description below. You can also contact Melinda there if you're interested in buying this puzzle. Uh, and it just goes into a bit more detail about kind of what this is and where it came from. And if you want more information on this puzzle, I'll also leave links to mine and Melinda's videos. So definitely check them out down in the description below. That is it from me guys, have a really awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.